so Come on, come on Shorty Let's go Girl, I see you over there in the corner Of the dance floor And I know, I know you're acting shy Looking at the corner of your eyes So I pick my heart up off the floor Move my feet closer to yours Catch my breath and I say I'm the one you're looking for, boy So come on, come on Dance a little dance Take my hand, darling, take a chance You be my queen, I'll be your king Show you everything that you've been missing, shorty So come on, come on Dance a little dance Got me in a trance and just one plan So don't wait no more I'm me, I'm more I'm the one you're looking for, shorty Oh, girl, I see you over there hesitating, deliberating to keep me waiting on a sign. Looking at the corner of your eyes, so I pick my feet up off the floor, move my hips closer to yours, catch my breath, and I say, I'm the one you're looking for. So come on. Hello, gorillas. I'm your boy, Chef Perry. Uh, the Vegan Gorilla, and today we're going to make a chocolate chip, blueberry, banana, muffin brick. No, no muffin, just brick. Chocolate chip, blueberry, banana, brick. Let's get started. All right. So, you can see we have my ingredients here. Got everything pre-measured. I'll put all the uh, proper stuff in the link below so you can get it, cook it, try it, read it, do all that lovely stuff. So we got our extra ripe bananas. Some are a little bit more ripe than others, uh, which is very good. That plus, I use frozen blueberries for a couple of reasons. Uh, they get a little bit more antioxidants when you freeze them. Not sure scientifically how that works, but uh, that's what Google says, so uh, it's gotta be right, right? And the bananas, extra ripe, they're sweet. They give an extra antioxidant as well for your body. Uh, they're very good for you, so don't throw them out. Um, you can make things like muffins, cakes, and all that stuff. So. Let's get started. One bowl, or a scrap bowl. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel our extra ripe bananas. Every girl loves bananas, you know that. Hands are clean, very important all the time. These things peel real nice, they're so soft. Break down anyway, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, so I'm using four bananas. If you guys are wondering why I wear my chef hat today, it's because I have one hell of a hair day today, so I wanted to show that off a little bit. All right, so we got our bananas all in there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is before we mush that down, we have our flour, uh, let's throw in. We got our baking soda, we got our baking powder, baking soda, baking powder. So we're gonna do uh, like one of those janitors in the old schools. Keys around. Okay, so we got our baking powder, or we got our baking soda. We're gonna throw half a teaspoon in. This is a quarter, so I gotta double it up. I don't know why I grab the quarter, but I do it half. And two, two teaspoons. Let's go with two teaspoons. I'm just making this up properly. Two teaspoons of bacon powder. All right. My magic ingredient, a little bit of love. Oh, yeah. Let's give that just a little. Mix up in there before we add any of that stuff in there. And you should probably use a good whisker, whisk it up good and everything like that. But this will work. We're going to mix it up good out here. So, mix. Okay, so get our soft bananas in there. We're going to just, just going to use a fork, mush them down. And probably best to use fold it like this. I can really grip this. If you're lucky, you'll get it on your shirt. You can look it off there. So 
just keep pressing down. That's all I'm doing with the fork. Keep pressing. A little stir once in a while. Press. You'll see it'll start to break down and get actually liquefied a little bit. So, not a lot, but not. I like to leave it it's a little chunky, but not too, not too chunky. So that's really good. So you can see that. Okay, so that's pretty good there. Coconut oil. Now I got the odorless coconut oil, so I mean it doesn't matter, you can use the other one too, but if you want to eliminate that coconut uh, flavor in there, because you might get that a little bit, um, that's fine too. I got this vanilla, natural vanilla. This is pure vanilla from, yeah, from Mexico. Awesome. I was down there last, I picked up a few balls. Actually, pretty cheap there because uh, they make it there, but I'm going to put in two teaspoons in up here. I like it like that. All right. Yeah. All right. Got a little syrup. Our coconut oil. Now oh, that smells good. We need smell of vision. All right. Got a third cup of brown sugar. Toss that in. Grab the mixture. And make sure if your brown sugar uh, is clumpy at all from storing it, break it, break it down a little bit. Another little gorilla bit is to uh, put like an orange peel or an apple slice in it with, with your brown sugar when you store it a little bit. That'll keep it uh, moist and keep it from clumping up a little bit. All right, so we got like that. Now we're going to add in our two cups of flour. So pour it all in. Give that a stir. And I'm just going to Get everything everywhere. Oh, yeah. It's coming out. Ah! Oven's ready to roll! Alright. Let's rock with that, so we better hurry up because uh, our oven's ready to go. Let's give it a good mix. See the texture? It's a little thick, which is good. Don't worry, it's going to rise a little bit. Now I'm going to throw, throw in my uh, these frozen blueberries again for extra antioxidants. Uh, they're better. And uh, the extra uh, frozenness from the water in there is going to help steam and puff everything up a little bit more, too. So, not a little too relative. That is stir. <laughs> Look at that. The blue looks really cool in that. The blueberry. That's a game changer there. Now, I don't know if you ever tried blueberry and chocolate chip. It's just something I decided to throw in. I made it once before. I didn't really see it anywhere. Just kind of. I think blueberries, with chocolate. Also, a little bit of chocolate is dark chocolate. Uh, this one I use is 72% cacao. So it's uh, there's no milk ingredients. It's vegan. Throw that in there. Actually, you know what? Take a few out. Sprinkle on top. We're throwing heaven. Give that a mix. Mix it up good, that way you get a chunk in every bite. All right, all right, so let's uh, throw that in the container. Give me one second here. Use a uh, salt cone container. I thought that was the uh, work with young, you think use that to burn in the oven, but these actually work pretty good. And they, um, they don't stick, so I don't put any parchment paper in them like that. So I'm gonna take my spatula. There, and I'm just gonna roll that goodness 
right in here. finicky that way sometimes you can't really play around with it too much you need to have the, the right ingredients and everything otherwise it won't, uh, won't work well so i'm just going to spread that out a little bit so it's even even sides like a leonardo da vinci All right, so let's take that off. A little bit of spillage on the side. A little extra chocolate chips. I'm just going to sprinkle them on top a little bit. And that's it. Let's throw in the oven. We know the oven's ready because we played that magic song. But it's good. In the oven, I'm gonna let that cook for about 55 60 minutes ish. Uh, it's at 350. We'll do the old uh, toothpick check after a toothpick comes up, puts in, comes up clean. You know, it's good. If not, might have to play around another minute or two. Uh, but 55 to 60 minutes should be good depending on your oven. So, uh, let's go do something else while we're waiting. Okay, folks, it's that time. It is already. Get out of the oven here. <laughs> Look at that. That's nice. It rose up nicely, too. Let's see if I can pan in for you a little bit here. That look. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Mm. Let's give it a try. Mm. It's, not it's a little hot. Oh, oh. oh yeah. That is a lot of blueberries on that. Have a look at that. You can see the steam coming right off, but still. Let's give this baby a try. Alright, here it goes. It's a little, a little more wet inside. I mean, that could be because it's still steaming and cool. Uh, once it dries, it cools down a little bit, it'll dry a little bit. But I also use a lot of uh, blueberries in there, but I have a lot of moisture in it. So, but actually, I, I just find it look good. It just tastes great like that. Mm. That's awesome. Give it a try. Let me know. Comment with a like. Um, I know what you rate it. The five rows, five feet in the back. Let's get a one five. And uh, let me know. It'll be great. 
Well, I don't see it again. I'll see you again. Namaste. Much love.